Shut up and sit down. Welcome to Nerd Safari's introduction to Galaxy Quest, voted the seventh best Star Trek movie at 2013's Las Vegas Star Trek convention. DreamWorks Pictures presents Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, Alan Rickman, Galaxy Quest. Where are my Trekkies at? There you are. Correct series, next generation, of course. Now this movie did win over many Star Trek actors. Patrick Stewart, Picard himself, had said, I had originally not wanted to watch Galaxy Quest. I heard that it was making fun of Star Trek. And then Jonathan Frakes, name dropped, rang me up and said, you must not miss this movie. See it on a Saturday night, full theatre, and I did. And of course, I found it was brilliant. No one laughed louder or longer in the cinema than I did. Cinema is what British people call the movie theatre. We call it cinema. It was both funny and touching and that it paid tribute to the dedication of these fans. William Shatner, the other captain, said, I thought it was very funny, but the actors that they were pretending to be were totally unrecognisable. Certainly, I don't know what Tim Allen was doing. He seemed to be the head of a group of actors and for the life of me, I was trying to understand who he was imitating. A little bit tongue in cheek, I think. He knows better. Will Wheaton said, I loved Galaxy Quest. I thought it was brilliant satire, not only of Trek, but of fandom in general. The only thing I wish they had done was cast me in it and have me play a freaky fanboy who keeps screaming at the actor who played the kid about how awful it was that there was a kid on the spaceship. He has had a lot of experience with negative fandom and general toxicity of the geek community. Um, you guys are all fine. George Takai said, I think it's a chillingly realistic documentary. He laughed. The details in it, I recognized every one of them. It is a powerful piece of documentary filmmaking. Tim Allen had that Shatner-esque swagger down pat and I roared when the shirt came off. Sigourney rolls her eyes and says, there goes that shirt again. How often did we hear that on the set? George DeCone was best, he was there. Never give up, never surrender. He will save us. This was Justin Long and Rain Wilson's first big screen role. And this was a, the first main role for Missy Pyle in a big screen feature film. Apparently the filmmakers had a difficult time finding a female actor who could be Thermian in just quite the same way as actors Enrico Colantoni, personal friend of mine, hello coffee girl. Rain Wilson and Jed Reeves, Missy saw it and got it immediately because she is a genius. <laughs> Okie dokie. Look out for some additional details. The NCEA protected serial number is NTE3120. NTE stands for not the enterprise. Look out for some other details. There are lines such as you are so full of shit man was redubbed to you are so full of it man. When faced with going through the chompers, Gwen says, well fuck that. Redubbed to say, well screw that. We are actors, not astronauts. These edits were made to avoid a PG-13 rating to expand the audience. You don't need to be an expert with lip reading to catch the original words. Do our last hope. So, in conclusion, never give up, never surrender. Never give up, and never surrender. And please tip your servers. They are your biggest fans and would definitely like your autograph. They look like little children. Hi, little guy. Thank you. Shut up and sit down.